Okay, one, two, three. Hello everyone, another fantastic, magical morning, and today we are gonna play another standard event trying to farm some packs and gems, and I wanna give Jeskai another go. I mean, you draw cards, you burn creatures, you copy spells, sign me up, let's go straight to the deck. Okay, so this is the Jeskai deck we are gonna play today, so what is the goal of it? Well, we want to survive, so we have some removal with Fires of Victory, we have Brotherhood's End, and of course burn in the house to essentially, yeah, clear the board. And then we try to survive using Union of the Third Path, which is 3 mana, instant draw card, then you gain life equal to the number of cards in your hand, and yeah, this is really really good against aggro decks, especially if you have, you know, uh, Chandra down so you can copy the spell. We also have, of course, Negate for some counter spells. There's a chance when you play something that is mid range your control that you're gonna face another mid range control deck in which Negate becomes very, very valuable. The one card you haven't probably seen much of recently is going to be Mind Splice Apparatus, which was very popular when Phyrexia got released. It's a form and artifact with Flash. At the beginning of your upkeep, put an oil counter on Mind Splice Apparatus. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast for each oil counter on Mind Splice Apparatus. And then we also have, of course, Monumental Facade, which is a colorless land that you can also tap and put an oil counter on target uh, uh, artifact or creature you control. Uh, it then enters the battlefield with two oil counters on it. So yeah, and going with Mind Splice Apparatus, we also have Experimental Augur, which is a two mana instant. Look at the top three cards of your library, put one into your hand and the rest in the bottom of your library in a random order, and then you get to Proliferate, which is really good together with Mind Splice Apparatus plus, of course, Chandra Hope's Beacon. And then how do we win? Well, we do have one copy of White Sun's Twilight, which is a uh, two white mana and X sorcery. You gain X life and create X uh, colorless for X and might artifact creature tokens with toxic one, and this creature can't block. And if X is five or more, you destroy all other creatures. So yeah, if you get this, if you get this up into like ten or something, and you wipe the board, uh, well then, the opponent has to have a board wipe board. Game is over for the opponents. But you might think, hey, that's just one card. I mean, what other win conditions do you have? Well, we have Chandra's Hope Speaking, so we can copy cards, right? So we can copy Burned on the House. We can also copy Silver Scrutiny, trying to draw as many cards as we can. And another card that's really, really cool is Invasion of Arcavius, which is uh, an invasion. It's a 5 mana, 7 siege counter battle. When enters the battlefield, search your library, graveyard, or outside the game for an instant or sorcery card you own. Reveal it and put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, you shuffle. And if you manage to deal, you know, 7 damage to this invasion, you get Invocation of the Founders, which is an enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand, you may copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. And since it does say you can fetch an uh, instant or sorcery from outside the game that you own, we do bring, of course, Galvanic Iteration, Alchemist Gambit, we also bring another Burned in the House, Light Up the Sage, White Sun's Twilight, and Silver Scrutiny. So yeah, this is my fun, controly, just guy, copy, damage, draw card kind of deck. Let's go to the first game. Okay, let's get started. As always, if you have any questions about the deck or the gameplay, please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments below. You know, I love to hear from you and it helps the channel out. And if you happen to enjoy the content, please give the video a like. That would make my day. Alright, let's start the first game. Okay, we get to go first. This hand is not too bad against Princess Shrimp. Hey, kudos for having... <laughs> Uh, the capitalized first letter. Okay, against uh, Celestian Shaman, not bad. So we can shoot whatever we place with Fires of Victory, which, uh, you know, it's not bad. Alright. Cool. Well, if it's not going to do anything, let's go with the Augury. Uchandra is cool. I mean, that's how you win the game, right? That's the whole point of this deck. Like, <laughs> this girl, she's going to rock everything. So yeah, we'll just uh, do Union of the Third Path at the end of his turn, and yeah, was hoping to use this Brotherhood's End, but I guess not. I guess not. What do you have? Really nothing. Three turns, Celestia nothing. That can't be right. Princess Shrimp, but we're getting another Brotherhood's End. That's kind of a, kind of a waste. Uh, yeah, we need to have some big scores here or something, mate. Something cool like that. Okay, Gallic Readers, fine. Oh, it's a token deck. Alright. That's fine. 
Uh, we're just gonna wipe everything with Brotherhood's End, I mean... Sure. Yeah, look at that. I mean, should we just go for Arcavius? Hmm. You know, I'm curious to see what he plays. Like, we can always play first victory and kick it, right? That's fine. For sure. He could draw a card if he wants, if he plays enchantments or whatever. I have not a care in my word. The world. And Restoration of a Ganja, okay, that's the best card he's played so far. Um, yeah, still doesn't care, really. He gets his land. Sure. And he gets another card because of the harmony thing. That's it, he gets a card. Uh, sure. Well, um, let's do this then. And there's the land too for Chandra, which is kind of cool. Uh, and Negate. Well, I don't think Negate is that important. Let's go with Chandra here. We ramp with Chandra. Uh, we really don't have to do anything here. We can just do this. Of course, if he plays, uh, I, I'm not even gonna waste Fires of Victory on these two blebs. I'd rather draw two cards with Fires of Victory if I'm gonna have to. If I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna copy it. So yeah, he gets his Galagreeters back. I mean, I don't think he has anything that can do... You can't do anything against Chandra. Chandra is the mightiest thing you've ever seen, Princess Shrimp. You're gonna be on the Barbie. Fight on the Barbie. Take to the streets. Okay. I think the opponent just made a weird... I mean, I do that all the time, but I don't recommend it. This looks like a modified beginner's deck. Maybe he's doing his own, like, challenge to get somewhere with this. I don't know. So the problem here is that I, I can't play Brotherhood's End right away because I don't want to copy it and deal 6 damage to Chandra. So we're gonna have to... Oh, well, how about that? How about that spell? <laughs> how would you say Alchemist Gambit as a spell? That's pretty cool, isn't it? We have the mana for a 1, 2, 5. Yeah, we just add 2 here. Uh, copying a turn twice? That sounds like a really good thing to do. <laughs> That's why I want to play this deck, right? Or should we just wait? Uh, no, I don't think so. Let's go there. Very good. My turn. Okay, so we have to play first of victories first. And then we play Brothers and... Hmm. So, with 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it costs 5 mana. Yeah, we should have enough to kick it and... yeah. Can do this first, actually, see if we find something good. Augur is not bad. I'd rather copy that actually. And save the Fires of Victory for something better. Mind Splash, thank you. Uh, yes. And uh, Scrutiny, thank you. Alright, we're having fun here, guys. Thank God we're facing an opponent who's as serious as we are. <laughs> so we can actually enjoy our deck. And let's go play land, and let's go again. Alright, I mean, big score's pretty good. So let's go ahead with Invasion of Arcavius. And uh, we can fetch... What do we want to fetch? Sideboard here. White Sun's Twilight wins, Light of the Night wins. Uh, Burn on the House do not win, I think. We could take another Alchemist Gambit and take another two turns. Ooh, the thing is that it's very hard to get where you want to be. Like, in a very comfortable situation, and when you're there, you kind of forget how... You're so, like, preoccupied with how am I going to survive, and not so much how am I gonna have, how am I gonna win. So, it doesn't really matter. So, we're gonna have nine... Sure. Fair enough. And we win. And I'm gonna show you, we're gonna triple copy this stupid Light of the Night. So, first, we're gonna use Chandra's ability. And we are going to do minus seven to this and to the opponent because Chandra is just that good. He can do the damage straight to the opponent. And then we're going to get our uh, enchantment here. Invocation of the Founders. And then we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We can do 7 damage to the face. And that gun's going to be copied twice. So we're going to get uh, 21 damage to the face. And that's how you do it. That's an OTK. One turn kill. From 25. It's not bad for turn what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, oh, turn 7. It's not that special. I mean, sure. 
sure. And final fireball. Alright, next game. Okay, we got to go first and wow. Very shuffled deck. Thank you so much, asshole. Uh, Wind Archer 9701, okay. I wonder what you're playing. So let's get the island out and pass the turn. And hopefully it is uh, Demir, huh? Well, if you, like I'm telling you, you face the weirdest, when you play a weird deck, you face the weirdest thing. That's why I'm surprised that I get so many mono reds when I play Band. Like Band should be facing any, like th these kind of decks, right? There is a matchmaking based on the deck. I am 100% positive. I mean, look at this. I faced five, six mono reds in a row playing one deck, and I faced decks like this playing this deck. It, it can't be, a, it, it, I just, I don't believe it being a coincidence. So yeah, let's wait here. And I don't mind, I just wish I knew the rules right. Is there an MMR? Is there a matching base in the deck? Is there something, I don't know. Stuff like this, I, I just want... I just want Wizards of the Coast to just tell us, right? I want I want transparency. That's all I want. Might, might be asking too much in my opinion. Uh, I think we take the land here. And, oh well, can't regret it. And to avoid it turning into night because of Trespasser, we're gonna play Mind Spice Apparatus right away. Yeah. I just wish, like, I wish, like, I know there's, like, um, matching base. In the play queue, it's definitely match based on the deck. So if they have the technology there, why would they not use it in the other formats? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that MTD Arena, Wizards of the Coast are trying to control fun. Like, no, this is how you have fun. You have fun with alchemy because why would. We? Yeah, if they wish we had more fun with alchemy, alchemy because. Then they'd make more money. The problem is that Wizard of the Coast is too fucking stupid to understand that we don't have the money for just standard. How would we afford Alchemy too? Alchemy could have been perfect. All you had to do was to digitally modify existing cards to make sure standard is not stale. Adding other sets with predominantly rare cards is absolutely fucking insane. It's essentially, also because these rare cards they add to the alchemy sets are pivotal to play alchemy because they're so good. So if you have a standard deck, like most people have probably one or two standard decks, like let's say I have a, a mono red and mono blue, and they release alchemy cards to modify standard, it's like, oh, that's cool, it's not gonna be stale. But then they release cards that make, you know, mono green the best, or mono white, which means I have to make a whole new deck, getting rare cards in green that I can't use in standard, and then on top of that, getting more rare cards from a set that doesn't work in standard. It is so stupid. It is dumb as dumb can get. It is tragic too, and we're losing this game. Because <laughs> Trespasser is just too good, and I forgot to put the... The oil counter on uh, my, uh, my Swiss apparatus, but yeah, man, like there's no doubt in my mind that MTG Arena, uh, not Arena, Magic the Gathering is not the best trading card game in the world. It is the best game, period. It is so much better than Hearthstone. It kicks Legends of Retire's ass. None of these card base get Gwent. None of them can compare, can hold a candle up to this game. But both Wizards, but both uh, Riot and uh, Blizzard, they treat their card games with so much more love and respect for their player base compared to Wizards of the Coast. That's the tragedy. That's <laughs> like, that's really, really sad. Wizards of the Coast is not give, giving the same kind of love for their game compared to Riot for Legends of Ruterra and Blizzard for Hearthstone, in my opinion. If I have to, if that's what I feel at least. So let's do this first, it doesn't really matter, we only have to pay this amount. Sure, we get to draw a card, toss the land, we don't really need it. And big score is gonna cost one mana and we generate value here. Sadly we only have pain lands in red, let's toss the brother at end. Silver Scrutiny is pretty good too, we can just draw what? Six, seven, eight. Six, seven, seven cards. Let's go for six here. I don't want to use my treasures just because then I'm just gonna have to discard, right? And hey, we can actually hmm, we can just do this. And uh, should we just wait one more turn and then play Chandra and do it and duplicate the turn? That'd be pretty cool. Now nah, I'm roping. Don't talk about what you think about MTG Arena and do a YouTube video. It makes no sense. Like, I don't know, like, I yeah, I think I, I want to make like a, a day for tea, like Tuesday tea, and just talk about my grievances with the game. Like, after I've been playing it daily for two years, 
And I started off, you know, trying to play for free by just farming gold daily and then rare drafting the set because I love playing the game, but I don't have the money to spend for it. And then I decided, hey, I'm going to make a YouTube channel about how to farm the stuff for free. And I did that for like three sets. And then I realized, hey, now I have the cards. I want to play competitive with all the cards I have. And I started doing standard events and bum bum, that's where we are today. I fell in love with doing daily standard event videos. I mean, hopefully daily, obviously life hits. I do have a girlfriend and I do study, you know, a pretty hard subject, medicine. And sometimes you're stuck in the OR for eight. Like we were supposed to be in the operation room for two hours, I think on Thursday. Oh, God damn it. Uh, on Thursday, but uh, it turned out that the, the, uh, the cervical cancer, no, the ovarian cancer the patient had, has spread to the omentum, which is like uh, the peritoneum. It's like a fold over the gut. It also spread to the rectum. So we had to, I, we had to assist and uh, resect everything. It took six hours. They <laughs> had to come with cups and and straws and feed juice because they're running out of energy. You can't go to the restroom or anything. And stuff like that happens. Or you know, people like grandparents die and stuff. Like you don't really have the energy to. Use. Like I love. Like, I love video editing more than I love playing the game, honestly do. I hope you see that in the special effects I do in the videos, but... There's no time, there's no time. And the biggest time consumer definitely is having a girlfriend. Especially if you love her a lot. Because then... Makes everything else seems meaningless. <laughs> and after all, this is just a hobby, it's not my livelihood. I... Did not sink in six plus years in medicine just to... Give it all away for YouTube. YouTube is... Definitely just for fun. Uh, six plus year after college. Keep that in mind. Six plus year <laughs> after college. And then I have to do five more years of residency training. And hopefully I'm doing the USMLE on April. And hopefully I can... I would. It would be really fun to get into a residency spot in the United States. Because I, I vibe better with Americans. And, uh, you know, there's no income tax in Florida, for example. It would be nice to be... I would take any specialty. I would be a goddamn GP. I would be that in the United States and just live a good life. And uh, yeah, that's what I would do. So the opponent have the breach. <laughs> Great. Nice. Thank you. Uh, but I think we still got this, honestly. Yeah, even if he has my Chandra, which is kind of hurts a little bit. We, I th uh, Yeah, we got this game. I really think we do. Because <sighs> we have Alchemist Gambit and we have White Sun's Twilight. <laughs> Two cards to kind of win us the game. And uh, my Swiss apparatus at nine counters, so. Draw and land is not bad. Sure, we take some damage here. Uh, we do you for what? We can do 10. I think 10 is not, we don't need to be greedy. 10 is enough, he's tapped that anyway. And then Alchemist Gambit, and that's it. We don't even have to kick it. <laughs> and then my turn. Yeah, you did all that work with Breach of the Multiverse, taking my Chandra, and in the end, it didn't even matter. I love the death animation of Poison. Okay, opponent get to go first, which is kind of annoying, and we have all the channel lands. Very, very shuffled deck. Thank you, thank you for shuffling the deck so well. But I think we'll keep this. I mean, we have Fires of Victory and Brotherhood's End. We can gain a life and draw cards. I mean, we have all the things we need. We just need another red source for Brotherhood's End. So yeah, we'll keep this. So what are you playing, Big Trash Bear? I mean, it's a cool name. I'll give you that. What kind of... Do you have a pet? Is it just a rock? Huh. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Not mono... We found the red source for Brotherhood's End, but I don't think Brotherhood's End is going to do anything against the Jinn. Uh, either way, that's uh, the channel lands are more important to keep in hand than uh, this uh, pain lands. So we'll do this. Big trashy bear. At least he has capitalized first letters. I mean, gotta hand it to him. He's doing well there. Oh, it's is it? Yeah, yeah. This is what I'm telling you about matchmaker. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Uh, so I think we go with red here, and we just kill this right away. I don't think the third path uh, something is gonna be fun to play against. Zenvot. Alright, wedding announcement is... Eh. I mean, we do enjoy the games in which we're playing against someone who's very slow. We're just gonna hold it here and play our experimental augury. Sadly, we don't have white for, you know, the third path, but... You can't always be smart. Sometimes we're very dumb. Trust me, I know that quite a bit. 
Who are you gonna play? Big Trash Bower. And by the way, we're playing as Jessica. I forgot to mention that. I mean, yeah. How often do you face Jessica decks in standard events? I face it when I play Jessica. I'm just Jessica, just that guy. Jessica, that guy. Yep. Please clap. What else are you gonna do, Big Trash Bear? Just pass the turn, dude. And uh, yeah, we just do the. Like I said, we don't have the mana for Union of Third Path, but let's go at the. Yo, man, just play what you have. <laughs> uh, I hate control players. Okay. Big score gotta be better than Union, right? Yeah, let's go with that. And submit zero. And okay, that's also really cool. Mine's plus apparatus. Maybe we should just make an Azorius apparatus deck. That'd be kind of cool. Sometimes, like, yeah. I'm so spoiled having all the cards. I mean, this YouTube channel is not making any money. All it does is uh, just um, it gives me enough for me to have a card base essentially, and that's it. I'm not having a card. I, I can make at best like a hundred dollars every two months, not, not even every month. Like, so I don't. Yeah, which is enough. It's enough to get a set, and we're having fun here, guys. It's just a hobby. It's fun. You're having fun, right? Please tell me in the comments below if you're having fun. <sighs> sure. Well, Brother of Zen is gonna mess with all of this. Question is, do you think he has a counter spell? Because I don't want him to counter this. I really don't want him to. Please don't counter this, big trashy bear. Bear, you're a nice bear. You don't have the heart to counter that. Nope. Ah, yeah. oh, motherfucker. Of course he does. Only reason he plays blue, right? So let's just kill everything. Fucking buy. Now let's keep on going. At least we have two big scores, so you can't do much about that, and I can't even. Okay, third path. Annoying. Uh, but we do have Brother's End. Should we just play a big score here and try to find a land? Into like Chandra or something? You can toss the land here. Yeah. I mean, we could also toss Brother's End, but I think we might need it against. Okay, it doesn't have any more counter spells, at least, thank god. So let's play you out. And we'll pass the turn. He can have he can make some tokens here. We don't care. We can wipe them all off the board with Brothers and in the end. Yeah. Sure nothing. Are you sure that's what you wanna do? I think he's trying to trick me. Alright. Fair enough, my turn. Maybe he's out of cards, that'd be cool too. So let's play Union before we play the land so we can gain the extra life. And then we have enough to play a big score and draw more cards. We just need to find, you know, anything by this point. That is not anything, that is just something. So, yeah, we'll just pass the turn here, see what it does. Another Wandering Emperor. I should be playing Wandering Emperor. I have white. If you're white, you should play Wandering Emperor. If you're black, you should play Sheoldred. If you have red, you should throw the deck away. We do another brother at end, so that's pretty good. Hopefully he makes another token instead of putting a counter on the token. On that one. On the samurai token. Please make a token. Oh, I never learn, do they? They never learn. They already had this, almost the same board wiped by brother at end earlier. And there's Chandra. So that's gonna be nice. Uh, but first, 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 we have to do brother at end here. And uh, we can play Chandra here. And we can draw two cards. I think that's fair. There we go. Copy. Two life. Three life. Oh, that's cool. We can play the next turn. If we find something to deal, somehow finds a way to deal seven damage to Chandra, we can put her at nine. What's happened, Z? Big trash repair. Oh! Invasion of the Yeah, that's a card I haven't played. I need to do that. It looks interesting. Let's draw. I do like the invasions. Invasion of Valora is really fun, too. So let's draw here. I mean, Union is best. Uh, sure. Whoops. Let's make sure he'll never clear that. Burn in the house, pretty cool, too. Hmm. Yeah, I think so. We need to find a way to win the, win the game, right? Sure. 
Ah, great. Let's uh, exile the top five cards to try to find something cool. Because I want to play something. I don't want to copy the Burnt Brothers Sand. Uh, I mean, that's pretty cool, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, you should be fine. You <laughs> get to copy, gain six life, and then gain six life again. I wish it didn't destroyed artifact creatures, and we could have had another one with the mountain of God. That was a mistake. But yeah, it seems like we're gonna kill them with uh, Twilight. Twilight is a good way to win. One eternity later. Opponent is slower than holy hell. All right, the third uh, third path. An invasion, sure. What do you want to take? This is going to take a while. Oh, I didn't. And they took, uh, I guess, the right card. Who knows? Let's look for more stuff, I think. Yeah. I think this is fine. Burn on the house is cool. You just double the burn on the house. We can also play... Yeah, let's do this. Let's get six tokens here. Well... Can't really play that. Uh, let's just attack. I mean, he's gonna block the Phyrexians once. He's gonna take. Uh, he's gonna take ten. And then next time we play another burn on the house, it's just over. It is very, very, very over, Anakin. I have the high, the high ground. ground. <laughs> just give up. Play land. Sure. And don't forget also, even if he wipes the board here, we have 11 counters on Chandra. Yeah, it is nice. Do you have a board wipe or something? I'd like to gain uh, a six, a seven life. And draw two cards. Three plus four makes seven. So we just do this, just to be an ass. A real donkey. I mean, if you have to say which one has the better Jessica deck, come on. <laughs> Hadouken! Good. Ah, actually, you know what? Let's go with Chandra. And he's like, well, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna kill you at least, so that's... You know what? Sure. You can do that. Chandra can still be the final blow here. And that's it. Oh, it was a long game. It's always long playing control. Um, all right, we got three wins. I mean, it, we got our value back. I mean, again, we get a pack for 75 gems, which is not too bad. Oh, wait, a little bit less than that, doesn't matter. Uh, I thought it was fine. I mean, the deck is not, uh, I mean, it's a jank deck, kinda. <laughs> I guess on the draw against one red, as you saw, uh, you just bite the dust incredibly fast. I don't think we want to uh, burn in the house here, though. Uh, we have to make some changes to the deck, uh, because uh, even though we had so much removal, we still got destroyed. I think Spite is really good here, and uh, Negate can go up as uh, we can go down with the uh, Augury. Do something like this. Go down with the... Uh, up with Twilight, and down with Silver Scrutiny. Uh, and Arcavius, as fun as it is with the sideboard, we, uh, we get rid of it and put it in Farewell then. I would play something like this. Uh, Alchemist Gambit is really fun together with Chandra, and so is the big score. And yeah, this should be fine, I mean... Uh, go up to far two Farewells here, like... Yeah, it should be fine. Let's do it like this. The deck is fine, it's fun. It's like, honestly, you can just put two copies of... Uh, you can put take away Mind Space Apparatus, put in four copies of uh, Emperor. You can take away four copies of... Um, take off two copies of... Uh, duh, 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 uh, off the Volcanic Spy and put in Teferi as well. And you can have like a little bit of a Walker kind of... Jeske Walker deck, which is also fun. We might do the next time. Thanks so much for watching till the end. You rock. Like and subscribe and... Have a good fucking day!